me ask you a question. How do you make a difference in this world of ours? Everything, truly everything, begins with an education. And at Barrack Hebrew Academy, it's done with one mind, one heart, one soul, one student at a time. We do this by learning from our past while shaping our future. And the future? Well, you're looking at it. Here at Barrack, we're encouraged to feel confident in our abilities and our identities. To find our own voice. Let me paint the picture for you. Here I am in the sixth grade at Barrack, and I have found a home here. I have great teachers and great friends and lots of opportunities to lead. I also love to act, and I played a leading role in our middle school musical, Annie Jr. I was Rooster Hannigan. I guess you can say that I have a lot to crow about at Barrack. My name is Noah Glickman, and I am Barrack. Pluralism comes alive every day at Barrack. I learn and grow in an environment that respects many points of view. It's empowering. It's challenging. But this is what makes us unique as a people, and especially as a school. We come from different neighborhoods, different states, different Jewish backgrounds and levels of observance. And we are taught how to respect one another. My name is Avi Romanov, and I am Barak. My two children leave for school every day, I know they're going to a second home, and that is the most wonderful feeling for me as a parent. These students are given a Jewish perspective on life and learning, which nurtures a very secure sense of identity. The thing is, at Barrack, they don't just learn it, they live it every day at school. My name is Robin Betoff, and I am Barrack. Critical thinking is a technique we use a lot and it's a really cool thing to see that across Jewish and general subjects that we can use the same kind of process in our thinking in both Tanakh and rabbinic studies but also in history with primary documents and, and stories in English. The same is true if you're a student interested in the arts, music, drama, literature, politics, human rights, community service, Hebrew. If you have a passion or a goal, you can live it and achieve it here at Barrett. When I wanted to play lacrosse and there was no lacrosse team, I helped form a team, and now we are experienced players. We are opening up the world to our students, and when they go out into that world, they make us all proud because they make a difference. And it is not an overstatement to say that by choosing the Barrack Hebrew Academy for your child's education, you are affirming your faith in the future of the Jewish people and in the state of Israel. I just got back from Barrack's study abroad program in Israel and it was an amazing experience. It was my first time in Israel and I really had the opportunity to see the country and understand the history of Israel and the Jewish people. My necklace has a phrase that says Shanit Misada Lo Tipol, which means Masada will never fall again. And while in Israel after we climbed Masada when we got to the top, my friends and I shouted Shanit Misada Lo Tipol. Ever since then I've worn a necklace around my neck that has that phrase because it constantly reminds me to always stand up for what I believe in and to never let anything bring me down. My name is Sarah Krulik, and I am back. In 11th grade, I went to Israel with the MUST program that we have here at Barrack, and it was an incredible experience. It reinforces learning in a way that you can't experience in a classroom. The week leading up to our Poland trip, we spent learning about the Holocaust and learning about European Jewish history. And then we went to Poland, and being able to be in a place that I had only seen before in pictures or in videos or read about in documents was a really shocking and a really important experience. 
It was also really important for me to be there, especially since I have many family members who died in Auschwitz. And I was able to, by walking through Auschwitz, was able to connect with that chain and serve as a witness that we had survived and that here I was learning about those who had survived and paying tribute to those who hadn't. If it weren't for Barak, I, I definitely wouldn't have had this incredible experience that I had here throughout my four years in high school and also specifically in 11th grade in Israel and in, in Europe. We are learning about our Jewish roots and heritage. We are practicing tikkun olam, helping to repair the world in so many ways. At Barak, we not only learn academics, we learn how to live. My name is Ruthie Schmidt and I am Barak. I came to Barrick from a public school because I was looking for a sense of community and for friends that share and live Jewish values. I'm also a person who's very passionate about science and we have an outstanding science program here. I am a member of the 9th grade Addenberg Science Symposium team. We are researching the human genome, exploring discoveries in genetics from a scientific perspective and an ethical one. My name is Danielle Kleinemann and I am Barrick. The faculty is passionate about teaching and our students are passionate about learning. Our seniors are prepared to meet the challenges of a complex world and are accepted to some of the finest colleges and universities across the country. Just look at our alumni. They play leading roles in all walks of life. And our alumni also mentor our graduates and provide a network of resources and contacts for them at Barrick and around the world. We are an exceptional academic institution, but why Barrick? It's Israel. Music. Math. Begam Ivrit. Betach Ivrit. Our great teachers. It's science. Sports. It's Jewish studies. When you are part of the Barak community, you are Mishpacha. 